Hello, I'm Brandon Carey, Director of Praxis Center for Aesthetics. And today I want to talk a little bit about goal setting, specifically in relation to residencies for artists. So goals, I think, are really important and a process to organize them because we all do a lot of different things in life besides art in almost all cases. There's uh, all kinds of domestic minutia and daily tasks. There's jobs and the goals there that we need to attend to. And then there's the art career. And the art career often has goals that aren't quite as firm as these other places in our life, especially if we have children or, um, or other responsibilities that pull us away, family responsibilities and others. So today I want to talk a little bit about uh, goal setting for residencies. Now, residencies are a really important aspect for an artist. I teach uh, a lot in Praxis uh, Center for Aesthetics about international recognition for artists, and residencies is one of those ways to get that international recognition. You can apply for them, and whether they're local, uh, within your country, or nearby state, or county, or international, they often come with funds to support you at the residency, and they're an exciting place to meet curators and your fellow artists who are already on the international circuit. So to begin with, the way you begin to research residencies is you, you look on websites that are reputable. The two I would suggest is one called Residency Unlimited. That's Residency Unlimited. Another one is called Artist Res, and that's spelled A-R-T-I-S-T. R-E-S, that's a European website, it's in a few different languages. So you can look at those links and, um, and begin the process of goal setting and applying. And this is how I would suggest setting goals and applying. You can begin by looking through those sites, again, Residency Unlimited or Artist Res, to residency websites, and um, look at the, the residencies that look interesting to you. And then begin putting just those deadlines in your calendar. That's all we wanna do here. And let's say the goal is one residency a month for now, because the first one is hard to apply to, right? And, and if you don't get it, if you only apply to one, it feels like it takes the wind out of your sails and it was a waste of time. But the likelihood that you'll apply for one and get it the first time is slim. If you apply for one every single month and keep doing it, not only is it easier to apply to, but you will get one eventually. And it's an exciting process because once you have your materials in order, it's easy to keep applying. Okay, so to begin with, um, look through those two sites, Residency Unlimited and Artist Res. I'll put a link in here to get to those sites too. And um, and then pick a residency and look at your calendar. Pick several residencies. And if you're starting at the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year, wherever you are in the calendar year right now, you'll see that most of them are months away. So pick one for every month. Pick one deadline for every month and put that deadline in your calendar with a link to the grant, I mean the residency application. Put that in your calendar one every single month, if possible. And then, and then once you have those deadlines, again, just the goal is one application a month. So you have a deadline every single month in your calendar, at least for the next several months, if possible. Because again, once you start this process, and this is a way of setting goals that's very satisfying, once you start this process, it's easy to continue it. So one residency a month. Then what I would suggest is look through the calendar and at every deadline for residency, two weeks before that, make another marker in your calendar that says apply to this residency. Give yourself at least a two week window to apply to each residency because you need the time to apply to it, you really do. So give yourself a two week space between each one. Again, so you put the deadlines in your calendar for a year for each residency. Now, two weeks before each one, put another notation, whether it's Google Calendar or iCal or whatever you use for a calendar. Deadlines once a month for, the, for when it's due and two weeks before for when you start to work on it. And, and if you do this process, the first one can be a little tricky because it's the first time you've done one, perhaps, or maybe the first time in a while. 
But once you do one or two, it's very easy to use that same application materials for the next one and the next one and the next one. So keep doing it that way and you'll get to your goal. Again, this is about goal setting and specifically in relationship to residencies. You could use this for other things like grants, of course, but let's talk about residencies for now. You use those two sites I mentioned and you put your deadlines throughout the year, one a month. Your goal is to apply to one residency a month. And then two weeks before that deadline, put in your calendar every single month, you put another marker that says apply because you don't want to be rushed. The worst thing is to do it all in the last day or two. I'm sure you've had that feeling. It's not a good feeling and it's not the way to get the best application in. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me. If you want support for this kind of thing, if you want to always hear about the latest applications that are that are out for residencies, a hand-picked list by me, consider joining uh, Praxis Center for Aesthetics. It's an inexpensive membership and you get my support directly, not just for issues like this, but also for things like your artist statement, your website, and uh, any kind of writing that you're using to present yourself, you'll have my support. So. Um, Thank you for listening. And again, if you have any questions, ask. And if you're interested in membership, please use the link below.